So, good day everyone. Okay. So, today this will be the part 3 of our series uh, about tips on how to solve uh, elementary differential equations. So, in this third part, uh, I decided to make a uh, slide uh, slideshow presentation. Okay. So, so that... Uh, Everything, uh, every example will be easy to track, okay? So, let's start. Okay, so this will be our ad example problems uh, and solutions of elementary differential equations, okay? So, first, uh, I would like to reintroduce uh, the different types of solutions, okay? So, there are actually a lot. But sa, uh, for discussion purposes, uh, I will name around seven. Okay, so first, the easiest one is the variable separable differential equations, exact differential equations, homogeneous differential equations, integrating factors, okay, or first order differential equations, okay, that can be used. Uh, um, Bernoulli's differential equations, substitution methods, and many other methods. Okay. okay, so this will be our example. Okay, so these are the 10 different examples uh, we are uh, going to discuss in this video. Okay, so please take note. Okay, so since this is a video, you can always uh, repeat the portion of the of this video that uh, that is not clear to you okay if you want to um, play back okay so first uh, we get number one okay so we have 2x okay quantity 2x plus y dx plus x dy okay so here by so, by inspection, uh, we have determined that this is a homogeneous differential equation. Why? Because each of its term, okay, so uh, as I have discussed in the previous video about homogeneous differential equations, um, 2x, okay, so uh, this, uh, each, in a homogeneous differential equation, each of the um, term, such as this term, okay, this second term, and this third term, all of them has a degree of 1, okay? So, since each of the variable has a degree of 1, x has a degree of 1, y has a degree of 1, okay? So, here, it is also has a degree of 1, okay? So, you can, so, since this is a homogeneous differential equation, you can replace one of those variables in terms of another variable. So here, um, I choose y. I choose y to be equivalent to vx. Okay? So since y is equivalent to vx, the derivative of y is equivalent to vdx plus x dv. Okay? So by using these two terms, uh, we substitute these terms into the problem. Okay? So to from quantity 2x plus y dx plus x dy, we replace y by vx and we replace dy by vdx plus x dv. Okay? So, we replace it here. And then, so, from that on, since they have a common term which is x, so we, uh, we separate the x uh, from the whole... Um, from the whole uh, equation so that it will be simplified okay so i rem so here x is um, factored out and then it was uh, cancelled okay so we have finally um, we have 2 plus 2v quantity dx plus x dv is equal to 0 okay so here from homogeneous differential equations um, by, substitu by substitution of y equals vx and dy equals vdx plus x dv, uh, we, we have 
converted the homogeneous differential equation into a uh, variable separable. Okay? So, here, 2 plus 2v dx equals to negative x dv. Okay? So, here, we can cross divide. Okay? We can divide negative x under dx and 2 plus 2v under dv. Okay? So, that is the case here. Okay, so, this is a uh, cross division in which your dx, the term, all the negative, uh, all the term of x is uh, transferred here and all the terms that has v is transferred on here at the right side, okay? Left side, all terms that has x and right side, all the terms that has v, okay? So, the result will be dx over negative x is equal to dv over 2 plus 2v. Okay, so we so since uh, both sides are already integrable, so we integrate both left and uh, right sides. So we have the integral of dx over negative x is equal to negative ln x. So it is equivalent to one half at the derivative of dv plus one plus one plus v. Okay, so why I factored out one half? Okay, so in order that um, we can directly apply uh, the integral of natural logarithm. So, we have negative loan, absolute value of x is equal to 1 half loan of 1 plus b plus loan of c. Okay? So, I decided to um, put the constant inside the natural logarithm. So, so that, okay, so that we can, uh, we can combine the terms of inside of these two okay so by by applying the properties of natural logarithm or the logarithm as a whole so negative loan of x is equivalent to loan okay so since this one half could be uh, converted into into a into a power so one half will be a power of one plus b plus one half and then c will be multiplied okay so and so i just removed the loan okay and then converted into terms that without the natural logarithm so it will be x to the negative one okay so since it has a constant of negative one here it could not be seen but uh, you, if you convert it into uh, terms, it will be x, loan of x to the negative 1. Okay? So, here, I, re, I just remove the loan and then I just combine them. So, it will be x to the negative 1 is equal to 1 plus v to the 1 half multiplied by the constant. So, x to the negative 1 is equivalent to 1 over x is over c, a quantity 1 plus v to the 1 half. Okay? So, since uh, here y is equal to vx, we can... Um, we can substitute back the value of v. So, the value of v will be a y over x. So, we back substitute the value of v in terms of y and x, which is y over x. So, we got the final answer. 1 over x is equal to c, quantity 1 plus y over x to the power of 1 half. Okay? So, we uh, proceed to the second Second example, okay? So, here, a quantity x squared plus 5 dy plus 2y plus 5 dx is equal to 0, okay? So, since this is, this uh, term uh, beside dy is in terms of f of x, oh, it is a function of x, and beside the dx is a function of y, so therefore, uh, this uh, differential equation can be can be uh, can be solved by variable separation. So therefore, it is a variable separable differential equation. Okay. So here, here is the solution: x squared plus five dy plus two y plus five dx is equal to zero. So here, um, I transferred x squared plus uh, quantity x squared plus 5 dy to the left i to the right so that okay so that uh, we can apply the variable separation also here the x squared plus 5 i transferred it under dx okay 
and then the 2y plus 5 I transferred it under dy okay so it's just a cross uh, division so here dx over negative negative quantity x squared plus 5 is equal to dy over 2y plus 5 okay so if you are aware of this we can already integrate this one and integrate this one so this will be your final answer okay so just remember um uh, about arc tangent okay so this is uh, will result to an arc tangent and then this is the u and this is the a so the a here is a squared here is 5 so therefore negative 1 over square root of 5 arc tangent a quantity x to the square root of 5 is equivalent okay so the integral of this is 1 half ln of 2y plus 5 plus c because 2y here is supposed to be 2dy so therefore there it should be multiplied by 1 half okay because it should be 2dy here at the top if you integrate that okay so to counteract that so i multiplied we, mul we must multiply it by one half so it would be one half loan 2y uh, absolute value of 2y plus 5 plus c so this is your answer okay so just um review okay uh, the equations that result to arc tangent and the equ and, and the equations when integrated that result to a natural logarithm okay so this is actually a variable separable differential equation okay so we have number three dy over dx plus 5x plus 5 equals zero so obviously uh, this is actually a simple variable separable problem in which you can directly um, transpose uh, these terms these two terms this 5x plus 5 to the right side and then it could be already be um, solved okay so dy over dx is equal to negative 5x minus 5 okay so we multiplied both sides by dx so it will become dy is equal to quantity negative 5x minus 5 dx so you can integrate both sides and then the result will be y is equal to negative 5 over 2 x squared minus 5x plus c. So this is a variable separable differential equation. Okay, so let's have our fourth example. So dy plus dx plus 5x plus 5y minus x, 8x minus 8 equals 0. Okay, so by inspection, this is a linear first order differential equation. Okay. So why do I say that it is a, a, linear, a linear first order differential equation? Okay, so as you can see, this is a y prime. This equivalent to this dy over dx is equivalent to y prime, and this is a, possi a possible px. And if you just just transfer these two terms on the right side, it could be the qx. So here, here is the uh, the solution: dy over dx plus five x plus five. Uh, quantity multiplied by y is equal to 8x plus 8. So here, this this quantity 5x plus 5 is the p of x. And then this 8x plus 8 is the q of x. So here, uh, when, since this is a, a for linear first order differential equation, uh, we must solve first the uh, integrating factor so i of x is the integrating factor so the integrating factor of uh, in terms of x is equivalent to uh, e to the power of um, integral of p p of x dx so the p of x is 5x plus 5 okay so integ e to the power of integral of quantity 5x plus 5 dx is equal to e to the power of 2.5x squared plus 5x. If you um, solve the integral of 5x plus 5, it will become 2.5x squared plus 5x. So the general solution to this type of problem, which is linear first order differential equation, is just you uh, substitute it to this uh, general formula. Okay, so that uh, you will not find it uh, tedious okay so y 
Since this is the ix, so you just substitute. So y e to the power of 2.5x squared plus 5x is equivalent to um, integral of eight, uh, quantity 8x plus 8 at uh, multiplied by e to the 2.5x squared plus 5x. So, this is the qx and this is the ix, okay? I just substitute, okay? So, please, okay? So, since this is to, uh, the integral of e to the power of u, so this is the u. u is 2.5x squared plus 5x. So, if you uh, differentiate that, you will get du is equal to 5x plus 5. So, this should be uh, 5x plus 5. Okay. So here, in order that they will, it will be uh, integrated already, so I just put inside this quantity 5x plus 5, and then in order that it will, ca uh, it will be still equivalent to 8x plus 8, I just uh, multiplied it by 8 over 5. So 8 over 5 multiplied by 5 is equivalent to 8. So that's why, okay, so 5x plus 5 dx. So, this is the du, 5x plus 5 dx. So, therefore, the result will be uh, y to the e to the 2.5x squared plus 5x is equal to 8 over 5 e to the power of 2.5x squared plus 5x plus c. Okay? So, that is the solution to our fourth example. So, we have, so we now have our fifth example. So, dx over dy plus 10xy minus 5x squared equals 0. Okay, so by inspection, it could be a Bernoulli's equation or, or Bernoulli's differential equation. Okay, but somehow, uh, please take note that the x and the y have interchanged in position. So therefore, uh, what we will uh, find is uh, the p, the q, the p, of, uh, the p, the q, and the i, or the integrating factor, should be all in terms of y and then Bernoulli's equation so it's quite similar to for a linear first order differential equation except that it has uh, x a y or x to the power of n okay so here the so i just transpose negative 5x squared to the right side so it will be dx over dy plus 10xy is equal to 5x squared so here, Py is equal, is this, equivalent to Py. Okay, so here, the variable, the main variable or the uh, the dependent variable here is x and not y. And not the other way around. It is, the, in the, the dependent variable is x and the independent variable is y. So therefore, it should be in terms of y. So Py is equivalent to 10y. And then QY is equivalent to 5 and N is equivalent to 2 here, okay? So if you remember the form, if, if you uh, watch the video, my other video about um, the N, okay? So uh, about the form of Bernoulli's differential equation. So N here is 2 because X has a power of 2. So so therefore, I to the power of Y, or the in the integrating factor is equivalent to e to the power of quantity 1 minus n integral of py dy. Okay, so in other, uh, maybe you have seen other books, this 1 over n could be inside p, this integral. It could be also outside. Since it is constant, so it is unaffected. Okay, so that's the uh, one of the properties of diff, uh, integrals. In which the constant could be factored out. Okay, so just replace everything, the n and the py. So it's equivalent to e to the power of one quantity one minus two integral of ten d ten y dy. So therefore, it will become e to the negative five y squared. Okay. So since this is in the form of dx dy, uh, py is equal to qy y to the power of n so this is your um, this is your general uh, general solution x to the power of 1 minus n multiplied by i of y is equal to integral of q of y 
by i of y dy. Okay? So, x to the 1 minus 2 is equivalent uh, multiplied by e to the negative 5y squared is e equal to integral of, okay, qy, iy. So, the qy here is 5 and the iy here, here is e to the negative 5y squared. So, just, okay, so we can integrate, okay, so this is x to the negative 1, so x to the negative 1 is equivalent to 1 over x, so this is, this will be e to the negative 5y squared over x, is equivalent to the integral of 5e uh, to the negative of 5y squared dy, okay, so please remember, okay, so since this is unintegrable, ordinarily, so we transpose uh, e, in terms of power series. So, we all know that e to the power of x is equivalent to 1. Okay? So, if you do not know this, please um, take note this one. So, e to the power of x is equivalent to this infinite series. Equals to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 3 over 3 factorial, factorial plus x four over 4 factorial plus so on and so forth until you reach x to the n to over n factorial okay so this is uh, from 0 to infinity okay so it could be rewritten as, as this one okay so the infinite sum or the sigma of x to the power of n over n factorial from which n is equal to 0 up to infinity okay so this is its equivalent okay so what we are going to do is uh, we transpose instead of x uh, we replace it by negative 5y squared okay so from this formula since the the power is not x it is not x but instead negative 5y squared so x will be um, replaced by negative 5y squared so replace it by negative 5y squared so it is equivalent to 1 plus negative 5y squared hmm? and, and so on and so forth. Okay? So I just replace it in this power series. So here, it is equivalent to n to the 0, okay? infinite sum from n is equal to 0 to infinity. So you just uh, substitute negative 5y squared to the power of n over n factorial okay so you just um, separate the constant with the variable so the constant here is negative 5 to the power of n and then the variable is y to the power of 2 and then it will be multiplied by n also so it will become y to the 2n over n factorial so here so this will be your equivalent equivalent of of this so of e to the negative 5 by squared so we just uh, replace it this e to the negative 5 y squared we replace it so it will become this one so we integrate this one so since this is y to the 2n n is is uh, any old integers from 0 to infinity so you can uh, you can directly apply uh, the integral so it will become 2n plus 1 over so all this, these terms will be 2 over 2n plus 1 so this will be the final uh, solution e to the negative 5y squared over x is, is equal to 5 multiplied by infinite sum of negative 5 a uh, quantity negative 5 to the power of n y to the 2n plus 1 over n factorial qu um, quantity 2n plus 1 plus c okay from n is equal to 0 to infinity okay so n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 until infinity so this is uh, the final answer so this is in terms of 
power series. Okay? So, please remember uh, uh, the definition of e to the power of x. Okay? So, you can use this. Okay? So, let's proceed to our sixth example. Okay? So, this is our sixth example. dy is equal to 8dx plus 5x dy. Okay? So, obviously, you can transfer everything that has dy in this place. So, I... I transferred 5x here here, and then I remained 8 on the other side so this is a variable si parapol differential equation so we have quantity 1 minus 5x okay so because I transferred it and then I collect terms I I, fact, I factored dy so it will become quantity 1 minus 5x dy is equal to 8dx to make the long story short I divide this one by 1 minus 5x I also divide this this one by 1 minus 5x so it, it it became dy is equal to 8dx over 1 minus 5x so i integrate both sides so the result okay so the u here is 1 minus 5x and then so if you um the du will became negative 5dx okay so this is the u 1 minus 5x the du is negative 5dx so, I just factored out negative 8 over 5. Okay, so that this one, uh, this uh, and this are still equivalent. Okay, Pinactor, uh, I just factored out ne negative 8 over 5. So, therefore, y, the, the, the answer is y is equal to negative 8 over 5, uh, natural logarith logarithm of the absolute value of 1 minus 5x plus the c or the constant so this is the answer so this is a variable si parable differential equation okay without further ado let's proceed to our seventh example so here we have our seventh example so quantity 2x plus 8 y dx plus 5x plus 20 dx minus 10 dy is equal to zero okay so first I have a I have a feeling that this is a linear first order differential equation. So this is negative 10y dy plus quantity 2x plus 8y dx plus 5x plus 20 dx. Okay. So I try to transfer negative 10 at the front. Okay, so I might cancel out negative 10 later. So this is what happens and then I just then the next thing is I divide everything by dx so that this term and this term will be free from differential so it will become negative 10 a uh, quantity dy over dx plus a uh, quantity 2x plus 8 y plus 5x plus 20 so here uh, obviously we can uh, manipulate this one in order that it will become this one, okay? So, I just transferred 5x plus 20 at the right side. So, it will become this one. And then, divide everything by negative 10 so that the first term will be dy over dx, okay? So, dy plus dx, so it will become dy plus dx plus quantity 2x plus 8 over negative 10y is equal to negative 5x minus 20 over negative 10. So here, uh, we can simplify. So the simplified form will be dy over dx minus x plus quantity x plus 4 over 5y is equal to x plus 2 over 2. So by inspection, it was a linear first order differential equation. So therefore, we can solve it by integrating factors. So so here is our uh, converted uh, differential equation. So here, uh, p of x is equal to negative quantity x plus 4 over 5. So that is the p of x here. So since uh, dx is underneath, is the um, is our independent variable. Okay, so since x is our independent variable so our our p our p and our q is in terms of x so p of x is this negative uh, quant, uh, negative 
quantity x plus 4 over 5 and cube x is x uh, x over 2 plus 2 okay so sorry it should have it should have uh, x plus uh, 2 okay so so it should be has plus 2 okay so here um we can uh, uh, we need to to find the integrating factor so this is the integrating factor i in terms of i of x is equivalent is equal to e to the power of p of x dx so without further ado so this is your px here then you um, you just substitute here so if you integrate this one you will get e to the negative 0.1 x squared minus point 0.8 x so the general solution will be for this type of uh, for this form of first order differential equation is y i of x is equal to integral of q of x i of x dx so therefore the answer is y e to the negative 0.1 x squared minus 0.8 x is equivalent to the integral of quantity x plus 2 x over 2 plus 2 multiplied by e to the negative 0.1 x squared minus 0.8 x okay so remember that the integral of e u du is equal to e u plus c so our u here is negative 0.1 x squared minus 0.x and then the du is equivalent to negative 0.2x minus 0.8 but somehow here it's different so what i did is just i factored out okay so this is the term i just copied i just factored out so since the du is 0.2x minus 8 so therefore it should be negative 0.2x minus 8 but somehow it should be equivalent to this so i just factored out a negative 2.5 because negative 2.5 multiplied by negative 0.2 is 0.5x or x over 2 and negative 2.5 times negative 0.8 is equivalent to 2 so i just factored out negative 2.5 so negative 2.5 uh, integral quantity of negative 0.2x minus 0.8 multiplied by the integrating factor e to the negative 0.1x squared minus 0.8x dx so without further ado okay so um you integrate finally this one so the solution is y to the e to the negative 0.1 x squared minus 0.8 x is equal to negative 2.5 e to the negative 0.1 x squared minus 0.8 x plus c so that is the solution for uh number seven okay so let's have our eight example okay so i might be passed but since this is a video, you can uh, always play back uh, the problems uh, that uh, you want to copy or to uh, try to uh, comprehend. Okay, so this is our equation for number 8, y to the power of 4 minus 5xy plus y, y prime is equal to 0. Okay? So, I just rearranged this one. So, I just put y prime at the front. So, that it will become y prime is equivalent to dy over dx, by the way. So, y prime minus 5xy plus y to the power of 4. So, I just inspected. Uh, by inspection, uh, we could see that this type of formula could be a Bernoulli's differential equation. What you need to do is just, just manipulate it. So, dy over dx minus 5xy. You just transferred y to the power of 4 to the right. So, it will become uh, like this. So, by inspection, it is a Bernoulli's differential equation. So, p of x here is negative 5x. And the q of x here is negative 1. And then the n is equivalent to 4. Okay? So, q of x is negative 1. Okay? So, you might ask you that you could not... Uh, why, sir? Uh, we could not see there is no q of x. Because it's just only y. So here, 
it should be positive always, y to the power of 4. So, therefore, the qx is negative 1. So, the integrating factor is in terms of x. So, ix is equivalent to e to the power of px dx. So, e, okay, so you just uh, replace uh, this formula by, okay, so, what is given this equation? So, Px is negative 5x. So, e to the power of integral negative 5x dx. So, if you integrate this one, you will get e to the negative 5x squared over 2. Okay? So, in order to solve the problem, this is the general solution. Okay? So, from this general solution, I will not read it. I just, okay, so I just replace so, the n here is the power which is 4. So, y to the power of 1 minus n is here. Okay. So, n is 4. Uh, the integrating factor ix is e to the negative 5x squared over 2. And the q of x is negative 1. Okay. So, just I just replace uh, everything from this uh, formula. So, this is the result. And then by... Okay. So, by algebraic manipulation, it will become like this, y to the negative 3, e to the negative 5x squared, okay? So, again, we encounter again uh, same scenario, okay? With the previous example, in the example number 5, I, I, if I, I am not mistaken. So, so, remember that e to the power of x is equivalent to 1, okay? This is equivalent to infinite series, equivalent to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus um, so on and so forth until you get x to the power of n to the n factorial okay into which your n is all integers okay so all integers from n a uh, 0 to infinity so therefore 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 until infinity so x to the n over n factorial so, okay so since the power is the actual power is negative 5 x squared over 2. So, therefore, we, re we just simply replace x by negative 5 x squared over 2. Okay? So, from this equation, so since instead of the power of e is x, it is negative 5 x squared over 2 in the actual. So, you just replace. So, the resulting will be um, the summation. Okay? So, I just replaced it. So, negative 5 x squared over 2 to the power of n over n factorial. Okay, the infinite sum from n to the 0 to infinity. So, same, I just factored out the constant which is negative 5 over 2 and then raised it to the power of n and then we have x squared. So, it should be x here. Okay, sorry. So, this is, it should be x. And also, this should be in terms of x. Okay. Okay, so... So, x to the power of 2n over n factorial okay so since this is x squared so it will become i separate the constant with the variable the constant is negative 5 over 2 and the variable is x all of them are raised to the power of n so it will be raised to the n and this x squared will be raised to the n so x to n so n here is constant okay so by substitution okay so since um y to the this is y minus 1 minus 4 y to the negative 3 so it is equivalent to 1 over y over 3 so so this is what will happen so it's equivalent to e to the negative 5 x squared over 2 dx okay negative 1 so since uh, we replace uh, this e to the negative 5 x squared over 2 by this so it this will be the result so by so we can already integrate this one okay so from this 
one. So the resulting will be uh, this one. E to the negative 5x squared over 2 over y cube is equivalent to this um, whole big series. Okay? So this infinite series plus C. Okay? So just read it by itself. Okay? So this is the solution for problem number 8. Okay? So we're not finished yet. So we have problem number 9. So, we have xy dx plus x squared over 2 plus 5 dy. Okay? So, at first glance, this is not a variable si parable. This is not also a ex, uh, homogeneous since it is, they don't have a constant uh, equal uh, degree in each of the terms. So, it could be uh, we could try it if it is exact differential equation, okay? So, what I did is identify what is M and what is N. So, this is M because it is beside DX and it is N because it is this side of DY. Okay? So, in order to check whether it is an exact, so, you must uh, partial differentiate M with respect to Y. And then M is XY, so, partial differentiate of y of xy so y so for partial differentiation what is under it okay here is y it is the uh, y is the only variable and the rest even the x is constant so therefore um, the result is x and then partial the next is we partial differentiate n with respect to x so uh, the result is okay so this is the n x squared over 2 plus 5 so the result is also x because this is x squared over 2 okay so if you differentiate it it will become x2 minus 1 multi uh, it will uh, multiplied by 2 so 2 over 2 is 1 so x to so x to the power of 1 or x and then the uh, differential of the constant is always 0 so it will become x so therefore uh, partial differentiation differential of m with respect to y is equal is equal to partial differential of n with respect to x so therefore it is an exact differential equation so since this is an exact differential equation so we can proceed uh, with a solution that is um, equivalent uh, that is applicable to an exact differential equation. So, this is it. So, in, we integrate m dx. So, the integral of m dx and n dy should be equal. Okay? But somehow, uh, we need to see, uh, we need to learn that uh, they, they, they could have um, different results. But somehow, we will collect all the terms from these two. So, Integral of m d uh, integral of m dx is equivalent to the integral of x y dx. So the result is x squared y over two plus f of one x of y plus the constant, and then n dy we integrate n with respect to y. So integral of quantity x squared over two plus five dy. So it will become x squared y over two plus five x plus f2 of x, y, plus c. So, remember that the result of this and integral of m, d, x, and n, d, y should be equal. So, therefore, f1, x, y should be equal to 5x. And then, this f2, x, y should be equal to 0 because there is no term on n here that is uh, present at the top but somehow uh, looking at the integral of m dx there is a term at integral n dy that does not exist in m dx so f1 xy should be 5x so therefore replace f1 xy by 5x so therefore it will become x squared y over 2 plus 5x plus c so since f2 xy equals 0 plus c equals 0 or you could rewrite it as x squared y over 2 plus 5x equals to c. So, any any of that is correct. Okay, so you might ask, 
it should be negative C. Okay? So, but the answer is no. Because constant, whatever you do, because C is a representation of constant. So, if you multiply the constant by a big number, or, or if you divide the constant by a large number, or whatever you do to that constant, it will become constant. So, remember that this C or constant just represents as any constant. Okay, so it does not bear anything other than constant. So whatever you do to this constant, it will be the same. So it will not carry the negative sign. So it is these two are acceptable uh, answers. Okay. Okay. All right. So maybe let's proceed to our last example. Example number ten. Okay. So we have this. Um, Equation. Quantity x plus 5 dy plus x plus y dx. Okay? So, the first thing we should do is to try. So, this is obviously not a variable separable differential equation. So, therefore, what we need to do is to try if this is an exact differential equation. So, the m here is x plus quantity x plus y and the n is x plus 5. Okay? So, we need to check whether or not uh, the partial differential of m with respect to y and the partial differential of n with respect to x are equal. Okay, so we different without further ado, uh, we differentiate m with respect to y. So x plus y differentiate that one is equivalent to one. Okay, so you might see x. What about the x, sir? So the x here is co is considered as constant because our variable is y. Okay, that's that's the difference between uh, partial differentiation and ordinary differentiation. In ordinary differentiation or the full differentiation, everything you see that is in terms of letters is constant. But here, only what is uh, you are differentiating with respect to will be considered as constant. So here, it is y. So therefore, x when differentiated will be equal to 0. And y is equal to 1. Okay, so here you differentiate it with respect to x, so so quantity x plus 5, okay, you differentiate it, the n with respect to x is equivalent to 1. So therefore, it is also an exact differential equation. Okay, just like done our ninth problem. So therefore, uh, we can integrate m and n respectively and we compare so, this is the result, x squared over 2 plus xy plus f1 xy plus c. Okay, so they have the common term xy, but they have also uncommon terms x squared over 2 and 5x. So, therefore, uh, f1 xy and f2 xy should be, f1 xy should be 5x and f2 xy is equal to xy. So, that in the integral of m dx and n dy will be equivalent. So, therefore, the final solution, okay, so I just replace in the first term, so f1 xy is 5x and then the f2 xy is xy. So, therefore, x squared, the final solution, x, x squared over 2 plus xy plus 5x plus c is equal to 0 or it could be rewritten as x squared over 2 plus xy plus 5x is equal to z, okay? So, equal to c or constant. So, I don't... So, this is the final solution, okay? So, thank you for uh, listening, okay? So, I hope if you have any questions or queries, you can comment down on this video, okay?